Hi, my name is Juli, and I'm glad to be here at TITSI 2022 in Boston to present our work that is part of a collaboration between Kite Pharma and the laboratory of Dr. Fred Slot at Moffitt Cancer Center. So what we did here was to manufacture CAR T cells using both fresh and cryopreserved PBNCs from the same healthy donor individual. Uh, in this study, we used more than 20 healthy donors and we compared the um, characteristics of the manufacture of the CAR T cell product. We only could detect differences in the expansion of the CAR T cells during manufacture, but we couldn't detect any differences in CAR expression or either in the CD4, CD8 ratio or in the phenotype of the CAR T cells. So then we wanted to know if these uh, CAR T cells manufactured from fresh or cryopreserved PBNCs had differences in, the, uh, in their function. So what we did was measure different uh, markers of activation after uh, activating the cells with uh, human CD19 targeted uh, cells and we saw that there weren't differences in activation induced cell death, metabolic quality of the cells or in 41BB or other activation markers. We only detected differences in cytokine production, particularly interferon gamma and TNF alpha were reduced in CAR T cells manufactured from cryopreserved PBNCs. However, it didn't impact the um, killing activity of the cells. So as a summary of this, uh, or, or as a conclusion of this study, we can say that uh, it's a, a valid option to use CAR T cells from cryopreserved PBMCs, um, and this could open the possibility to different studies uh, where we can compare cells from the same from the same patient at early stages of their disease and see if we can use them uh, to have healthier CAR T cell therapy in the clinic.